My topic is get the twenty. This is a math game that I played when I was in junior high. This is a two-players game. Each player takes turns to count. The maximum they can count is up to three numbers, and who can count up to twenty who wins? For example, there are two players A, which is me, and B. So I start first, and I say one, two, and B counts three, four, five. Then I say six, seven. Then B says eight. Later on, then I say nineteen, twenty. I win. Since now I'm a math major, so I just wonder whether there's a way that I count numbers can make me win all the time. So I list twenty numbers out and think, how can I always get twenty? Because each player can only count up to three numbers. So if I get sixteen, then the other player can only get seventeen or eighteen or nineteen. He can never get to twenty. So next turn, when I count, I can get twenty easily. And the other problem is, how can I get sixteen? It's same as get twenty. If I want to get sixteen, then I need to get twelve, which is three numbers away from sixteen. So if I can get twelve, then I can make sure I can get sixteen. Then I can make sure I can get twenty. Similarly, I need to get eight and four, which means I need to start the second to win the game. Next question I ask myself is: What if the maximum number we can count is not three anymore? What if it's one number or two numbers or four numbers? First, I tried one number. So in order to get twenty, I need to get eighteen, then sixteen, then fourteen. And two, which means I need to start the second. So the other player will say one, then I say two, because we can only count for one number. So if I start second, I will definitely win the game. Then I tried two numbers. In order to get twenty, I need to get seventeen, then fourteen, then eleven, then eight, then five, then two, which means in this situation. I need to start first, so I can get to then stop. Then the other player can only count up to one or two numbers, so he will get three. Then I would say four, five. If he says three, four, then I then I would say five. Now similarly, I will get eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, and twenty. So I will win again. And then I tried to count up for four numbers, which means I need to get fifteen, then ten, then five. And in this situation, I need to start the second. In order to find more general patterns, I list the results out in the order of count up to one number, two number, three numbers, and four numbers. So then I I observe those numbers to see uh if there are any patterns here. So if I want to get twenty and the first number I need to get is two, what's the relationship between two and twenty? Then I find twenty divided by one, which is the maximum no, maximum number we can count, plus one is two. So if I use twenty divided by two, then I get ten, and the remainder is zero, which means I need to get zero, but I don't need to because there's no zero here. Then the second number I need to get is zero plus two, which is two. Then I find the next number I need to get is two plus two, which is Four. 
Then I wonder whether I can use the similar rule to two numbers. So I used 20 divided by 3, which is 2 plus 1. Then I get 6, and the remainder is 2, which means I need to start at 2. And the next number I need to get is 2 plus 3, which is 5. And then 5 plus 3 is 8. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So I can get 20. So I wonder whether I can use letters to generate the rule. So the maximum number I need to count is 20. And uh, the maximum number I can count up to is 3. So I set my x equals to 3. Then 20 divided by 3 plus 1 is 4, which is 20 divided by 4 is 5. And the remainder is 0. So I set um, m equals to 0. Then the next number I need to find is m plus x plus 1, which is 0 plus 3 plus 1, which is 4. So I set n equals to 4. So the next number I need to get is n plus x plus 1, which is 4 plus 4, and it's 8. So every time I need to add the, uh, ma the maximum number we can count, plus 1, to the number we've already got. Then we can get uh, the number we want. In this case, we, we can get 20 and win the game. Then I try this pattern to four numbers, and it works. To sum up the rules, I let C be, uh, equals the maximum number we can count, and X is C plus 1. And because this game is get the 20, so I use 20 divided by x, and I get a remainder m, which is the first number I need to get. And so later, I set m equals to m plus x, uh, which doesn't make sense in math. But um, in this situation, this m is the new m value. and and this m is the old m value. So the new m value equals the old value plus x. So we can get the number we want, which is 20. What if the rule changes? It's not get the 20 anymore. What if it's get the 30, get the 40? We only need to change 20 to 30 or 40. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching.